we're gonna judge who's the best coach today. Yeah, we're gonna compare both you and Hammer and see who who's better. I mean, there is nothing to compare here. Honestly, there is a coach, and then there is uh, there is the real coach. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, my friend. Uh, this is the first exercise that you are to solve. You can put yourself black here. Okay. So, first it. of all, as you can see, this is a game from some historical lessons uh, from from history. It is Alekhine. No, it's Capablanca versus Alekhine. I you... know him. Who? One? Capablanca and Alekhine. Okay, I know both of them. I know both of them. Okay, who are they? They were the world chess champion. Well, Capablanca. Well, uh. Uh, there were top uh, players uh, in the world. They were like either top top players in the world okay. or like one was a champion. Uh, you know, they went to high school together or something like that. Show the love. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, they were best friends. Uh, do you know who was the first and who was the, the second? Like like who was one before one? Who was? Okay, they uh, were at the same time. Capa, Capa Blanca played, played Kasparov, but I, I don't remember which one came first. Did he not? Okay, I don't know. I don't know chess history. <laughs> Okay, never Wait, mind. I'm there was a big that. poster. Wait, there was a big poster in my in my chess club. Yes. And it had the, both of them. Yes. So Capa I always Blanca thought that they... That's, I meant to yes. say Karpov. Oh, that's just because I always get Kasparov mixed with Karpov. Oh, that's okay. That's what I meant. Okay. To me, no. potatoes, potatoes. Okay. That's what I meant to say. So I wasn't wrong. <laughs> let's just skip this question. Okay, let's just get into the chess. Yes. <laughs> so look at the position and tell me everything that you see in it. Okay. All right. Starting from the black pieces, I'm going to give you my analysis. Yes? Good. So we both have the bishops, except my bishops seems worse than his because I've got the pawns on the light squares and uh, white has a little battery eyeing the h7 square. So I think his bishop's definitely better. Um, white has also more space on the queen side because of these pawns. Um, but we have decent center control, I would say, especially because our queen and knight is here. Um, rooks, this rook on a8 is kind of misplaced. I don't know, maybe eventually you'd want a rook lift, bring him somewhere else. But I don't really know why. I guess white's plan may is maybe is to break through over here. So that's why we're keeping the rooks over here. Um, but also white's king is kind of naked. He's only got this knight. Um, and because my queen and bishop and knight are all pointing this direction, maybe we could do some counterattack on the king side. Those are my analysis. Uh, okay. Does this position ring you some kind of bells, though? Well, you see, I hear a lot of things on a daily basis. Um, so, like, what type of bells? Maybe you could describe the bells. Well, the bells, like, have you seen something like this before? Hmm... Uh, maybe in another life, but I've lived so many lives that I don't remember this morning. But maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, wait, the the Carlsbad bells. That's what you Ooh, mean. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. Wait, who has the shit? I always forget what freaking Carlsbad structure is. But we always we're always studying Carlsbad, and I never remember. White has the Carlsbad structure. Yes. Uh, okay. No. So, Carlsbad is a structure that contains yes. both colors, white and black. And it oh, can it even fun. be colors reversed, okay? Okay. Uh huh. Good. What are the typical plans that you know in such positions? And we already studied that together a couple of times. Yeah, no, I'm really glad we're reviewing everything we've done lessons on because that's how you learn. Exactly. Um, and now I'm going to remember every lesson that we did and how many times we talked about this structure. Minority attack. Whoa! Whoa, we see some progress over here in the bonus <laughs> house. I've been feeling answers from chat, Nina. I don't remember anything. My brain is empty. I've lost all my brain cells since I started boxing. I'm not going to lie. I could pull some shit out of my head, but I'm not going to waste your time. I have no memory whatsoever. Okay, then use your brain. Try to think about it. Try to create the okay. plan. Okay. I mean, my first instinct was that white wants to break through here. Wow. And black wants to push 
here, because where else is black going to push? Wait, did you just spot on g5? Okay, you know, not g... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> What's the idea of g5? Off. Okay, okay, let's, let's continue. Imagine it's a g5. What's the idea of g5? To push and attack the knight and attack the king side with the other pieces. Though. Okay, well, let's say you push the knight, knight went away, then what are you going to do? Uh, bring in my knight. Bring your and, knight. And Where? maybe this pawn too. I'm going to advance these two pawns. I'm going to put the knight somewhere attacking the king. And, and then I'm going to push the pawns all the way and attack the king side pawns. Damn, this is gonna be so complicated with the student. I can't believe uh, I signed up for this. I can't believe we have to repeat the same thing for the third time in a row. Outpost knight. We, we get an outpost knight instead. Okay. Forget about everything that you just said because you're confusing everything. Let's, confused. let's concentrate on white. You suggested the right plan, which is pushing the pawn, right? Yes. Pushing, yeah. what, how would this plan be good? And what is this plan? Uh, I guess this is the minority tech, because this, this is the hanging pawns. And if they break through here, you would ruin Black's... No, no! No, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Continue. What, 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 why did you react like that? How did you what? call these pawns once but again? It's not hanging pawns. You taught me that. Andrea, what is hanging pawns? Well, like, what's the word for the two isolated pawns that are next to each other? Andrea, where do you see isolated pawns here? But you know, the word that I'm going for, like the two pawns. They've got a name. I just, I'm dyslexic with names, so well, I their just get a mix up. name is pawns. Oh, they're nothing? Just pawns? They're pawns. They're, they're good pawns. Wait, why aren't they hanging pawns? Well, hanging pawns are supposed to hang, meaning they're supposed to be under attack, right? Okay, that's not the word I was going for. Uh-huh. Uh, we had a word for them. Okay, it'll come to me later. Oh my gosh, I already know what we're gonna study next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just yeah, pretend that you see chess for the first time of your life. I'm gonna just put your position king, king, and pawns. And then just gonna put you all the pawn structure that exists. And then just call me the names of their pawn structures. And then we'll do it over and over again until the moment you learn how pawns are called. Okay. But as far as for now. Okay, these pawns are totally fine. They're not hanging. They're pawns. They're just two pawns. But okay, to be honest, this is irrelevant for what we are studying right it now. Is Your plan is B5. You're right. How this plan would help you out? We would create a backwards pawn for black and oh an isolated pawn. Goodness, what is a backwards pawn? Okay, just don't answer. Don't answer that okay, question. Gonna... <laughs> what what okay. do you mean? I would take this, and then if B7 takes on C6, that is a backwards pawn, and this is an isolated pawn, and you're wrong. Okay, okay, just just let, let's do it. Wait, let okay. me do it. Okay, so let's say I take. Show me no, where... No, no, I'm saying white would take their pawn. Oh, yeah, of course if you take. Uh, I was talking about if you allow white to take. Okay, let's let's just what what did you want to say to do? Like let's say I just I just moved the king. I was saying in this situation you're threatening giving black a bad pawn structure. Yes. Okay, and this pawn on c6, how is it called? Backwards. Okay, okay, I'm surprised. This you know. Good. Okay, great, okay. great, great. I'm 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 actually I've, I feel already better. So what happens if you if everybody if everybody takes? Yeah, I, I didn't address that situation. Um, bang, bang. Well, I mean, yes, we would open up a file where Black's rook is, but Black's never going to want to take with this pawn, and White has all the pressure here, so we would just put our rook in the open file, and I feel like opening the files here where all of White's pieces are attacking would benefit White. Uh, so your plan is, let's say... Um, let's say I take... Your plan is to take... Oh, you take with that pawn. Okay, oh, well, let's say I take with this pawn. No, just forget yeah. about the queen. Forget about the queen for now. Okay. okay. Let I us... do anyways. Yeah, true, true. It's your just natural natural state. Okay, let's just do this. Then this. I and had an push. idea. It might be wrong. Okay. I had an idea. So, I had an idea. Yeah. I feel like... I, all I want to know is that... How would this pushing B5 in your mind benefit to white? Just okay, to figure out. I don't think out. you're going to like this. However, okay. I feel like because white opened up 
and is attacking here, and this is now potential weakness, we do that thing where we want to make two weaknesses, so then we'd also push over here, but you probably wouldn't like that. But okay, she doesn't like that. Wait, okay, wait, wait. We're not pushing here. Oh, my lens. Girl. Okay, I thought I was on to... I thought I was on to oh, something, God. and I thought E4 was the second plan, but I was You wrong. have not studied chess in your life. I may have not studied chess in a long time, Dina. Okay. But why is E4 bad? Why... Okay, okay we'll, we'll get to there later. Just let us... Let's just look it's at this position. J just tell me... Computer likes E4. Forget about computer. Computer is trash, okay? It's, <laughs> it's like, even Hans Zeman is better than computer. Hi. Please consider taking a second and clicking the button down below. Subscribe. It means the world to us. And besides, it's completely free. Okay. <laughs> Look at B5. B5. I mean, black took on B5. What is going to be your next move? Oh, well, of course, if they take, then yes, you take it. Now they have isolated pawn here, isolated pawn here, and this is good. Where do they have isolated pawn? What is an pawn? Well, once we take this pawn, B7 is an isolated pawn. B7 is take. not an isolated pawn, but... Why is it not an isolated pawn? Um, we'll study it next lesson, I think. We'll study... It's but... alone in the world, like me, and it has no friends defending it. Yes, but it can move. An isolated mo pawn cannot move forward. This is, Andrea, a passed pawn, because oh. it has no uh. opponent's pawn that is blocking. But the problem is yeah. that right now, the passed pawn cannot advance easily, because it is... Wait. Let's say... It cannot, because there are opponent's pieces, right? So for now, this is a weakness, right? Yes. Correct. Is there any other weakness here for black? I mean, this is not a weakness, because it's strong. This bishop isn't active, but it's not a weakness. Okay. Um, D5 is a weakness, because no other pawn can protect this pawn. So it is a potential weakness. So... Okay. Here, black has two weaknesses, which are d5 and b7. And when you pushed b5, your plan was either to create them backwards pawn on c6 if they don't push, if they don't take, right? You want to take. Or if they react and take, then you take with a piece and then you play against d5 and b7. So either you play against c6 or you play against d5 and b7 yep. you got one of these two setups let's say let, let, let's say I, I go here and then you just so either you play against this c6 setup or you play against this two you got it yes good yes this is the reason why you do the minority attack to create a weakness on the queen side yes i mean good. that makes sense that was yes the reason why you would never push e4 in these positions is because you would create your own self. And I let you finish the sentence. A weak pawn. Which is called? Isolated pawn. An isolated pawn. This d4 okay. is an wait, wait. isolated pawn because it is weak. Wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. Because when I was suggesting e4, so I knew, obviously, in this position it's not good. I was saying, uh, can you see when I move the pieces? Yes. Okay. I was saying in the case, uh, I guess, I was saying in the scenario that uh, black doesn't do anything, I guess you would put all your power here, but I was asking, yeah, I guess it doesn't make any sense. Um, but after we were like already attacked the C6 pawn, what do you want to create a second weakness by pushing for? But I guess you already answered that question because this is just a weak pawn and there's no point to push here. So I meant after we simplify, after B5 plan. So here, yeah, you you mean somewhere here, for instance, yeah. I guess, yeah, this doesn't look yeah. good. Yeah. Well, end. the thing is that to attack the c6, you do not need to change your own pro pawn structure. All you can do yeah. is just regroup your pieces and attack from different sides. For instance, regroup your bishop and then add more pieces here. Like you have millions of ways. Add the knight. When you play against a weakness, your plan in any position is to attack the weakness with your pieces do not change your own structure when all it can bring you is like a tactical idea of attacking but this is a but. short term long term you created yourself a weakness now d4 is almost the same weakness as c6 and both okay. here d4 and c6 are you finish the sentence 
What? Isolated pawns. Good. Now, can you see the difference between isolated pawns and a weakness on b7, which is not an isolated pawn? Yeah, because there's nothing preventing it from going forward. Well, no pawns. Yes. So it's a passed pawn. It is. Now, the tricky thing, what many amateurs, including even some feeder masters do not know is that even if a pawn is isolated from other pawns it doesn't make her the isolated pawn because the isolated pawn is a special concept which is not just about the fact of being isolated like living alone on your own imagine you would be living yeah. alone and you would, would never, never do that you would never want to move in with someone for instance yeah it wouldn't make you an isolated woman. Okay, could you just say that again in like one simple <laughs> sentence without the analogy? Because you lost me. <laughs> okay, the point of the story, you got the difference. Uh, well, I'm not gonna lie. I had to change my music when you started the story and then I thought I would understand it tuning in halfway. <laughs> But tuning in halfway just made me more confused. But I promise if you say it a second time, I'll get it this time. So just one more time. Okay, starting one from... One more time from the start. Starting from which point did you not understand? Uh, I accidentally uh. zoned out right at the beginning when you said the first word. But uh, the second time, I will get it. I just, I had a moment. Okay, so we start, we're start. we starting the lesson from the very beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, just from the start, really quick. <laughs> okay, Andrea, what kind of position is this? Carlsbad. Good. Carlsbad is a pawn structure, right? Yes. Good. Um, Carlsbad being the pawn structure, what plans do you know about it? Well, this is the minority attack where you try to break through your opponent's pawn chain. Yes. Uh, this, is, this is one of the plans. In fact, the minority attack is the plan for the side on the side, on the side of the board, where you have less pawns. Do you agree yeah. with that? Yeah. Here yeah. you can see, if we cut the board in two parts, you see that yep. white has three versus four. Yep, so when you mind. have such kind of setup, well, this exact pawn structure, you can use the fact that you have less pawns to create your opponent weaknesses. Okay, that's very clear and well said. Good. So when you push b5, then you either create your opponent a backwards pawn, which is a weakness here on c6. Yes, yes. I get, I get this part. We did yeah. this part like on this Or this too. Now you yeah. called the b7 an isolated pawn. And yeah. I told and you it's not true. Because there's no pawns on these files. Yeah. So this is yeah. just a potential pass yeah. pawn. Yeah. yeah. It's a pass pawn already. Yeah. To be I honest, just thought one pawn could be two things because it's 2023. I thought it would be both a passed pawn and an isolated pawn, but I understand why it's only a passed pawn. Well, that's because you're it. in America and your country is uh, <laughs> um, a bit. I mean, that's okay, because you live in California, shit. so you can, of course, be two things that are one. But you know, when we live in the in the in the north and in, in the east coast, in like North Carolina or any other state, then you know we usually. Yep are more conservative yeah. in this regard. Yeah. In okay. My, in my home countries. Yes. Okay. So the pawn Or Canada, can for instance. Oh, no. Canada, a very conservative country. Socialist country. I don't know about that. I don't know anything about Canadian politics. But anyways, okay. I have understood. <laughs> I've understood. Good. Okay. Well, now let's mm -hmm. look at black. Actually, this is important. What would be black plans? The black, see, that's where I was struggling. Um, let's think. Yes, we'll use the knowledge that you just conceived. <laughs> Not the best verb, but okay. Just look at the pawn structure, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, I understand what plan, but how am I supposed to understand black plan? I don't understand. But fine, I can do it. It's, it's just a it. mirror. Oh, just to turn, turn your brain on the side around. You know, the beauty about chess is that you can use the same knowledge with both white ah, and black. We would just push B5 and prevent this. Oh. 
No, well, then we can be just here. Okay, we just started minority attack, right? Okay, okay, okay. I'm, okay. I'm basically we, we just... testing okay. your okay, okay. IQ. Let me, let me explain, let me explain. This was my initial idea, but then you gaslit me when I first gave you my answer, so you made me seem like it was wrong. So I was trying to think of other answers. I'm like, there is no other answer to pushing these guys, otherwise I'm pushing this guy, which is why I said pushing that guy. But this was my first idea, attacking with these pawns. Oh my gosh, that was too fast even for me. <laughs> okay. We would attack on the king side. Okay, okay, forget about kings. Imagine kings are like, imagine the kings are, I don't know, on b8 and a2. Okay? Okay. What did you learn about minority attack and how could you apply this knowledge to black? You use your lesser pawns to break through Good. and create weakness in your opponent pawns. And how would you do that? Or verse five. Um. Thing. But that, I mean, none of these pawn pushes look great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, because I'm obviously this is black's pawn minority versus white's pawn majority. And the only breakthrough I see is getting like f4 in, trying to trade this guy. Um, but f5 looks like a really bad move. And yes, maybe we have to prepare it a little bit. Okay, you got it. Okay. So, what happens the yeah. day you pushed f4? What happens once you get the pawn on f4? Yeah. What is your um, idea? Oh, I mean, we're threatening to trade on e3, which gives white a backwards pawn on e3. And that's going to be the weak pawn that we're going to try to attack. We open a file where we probably want to put our pieces. Um, or we force them to push, which is creates a isolated pawn here on e. Okay. And if white takes on f4? Um, well, then they're still making an isolated pawn on d4. Oh, uh, what kind of pawn on d4? Sorry. Uh, um, it's how, wait, how is it not an isolated pawn? It has no pawns defending it and it can't go forward. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Once you, once you remove the e3 pawn, it has to be backwards. It has to be isolated pawn. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, wait. So, why took? You took. Right? Uh, I'm just I doing see. some... some. Wait, okay. you, you can't yeah. see. Yeah, I put it in. Okay. So, what is d4 pawn? A weak pawn. Is it a, an isolated pawn? Yes, that's what I said initially, but you said it was wrong. Yes, it is wrong. But no pawns can defend it. So yeah. why is it, is it not isolated? Because there's a pawn in front of it? Okay, let us see. Maybe someone notes in the chat the reason. I am... I chat said a chronically lonely pawn. Okay, let me show you an isolated <laughs> pawn. We were here. Oh, uh, somewhere here. I feel like sometimes we get lost in the definition. Okay, look. Here, oh, D4 okay. is an isolated pawn. Okay, so it matters if the, there's a pawn on the same... Oh, right. Ah, I remember Dean under definitions. It has to be on an, a semi-open file. Yeah. It can't be another pawn. Exactly. D4 here is not in the open file. So the, what, just because it's not an open file, it's not as weak as an isolated pawn. It's just a weak pawn. Oh. But it's not as weak as an isolated pawn. Because isolated pawn is the one that is on the open file. And it cannot move okay. forward. Because okay, their opponent's pawn. But it doesn't matter, to be honest. I'm just, I'm actually, I'm being very annoying with you simply because I really want you to master the definitions. But no, I, I, understand. I think I understand. what we'll do next time, we'll just do a separate lesson on all the pawn structures that exist. And then we'll just. Well, like... I think we figure, I think I got them all now, every single one of them. <laughs> Wait so until gonna... next week. No, the, the semantics are at, at first when Dina. And I would argue about if it's isolated or not because it's an open file or not, which chat an open file means that there's no pawn, so there can be any other piece. I would get annoyed, but then I understand that it actually does matter because whether this pawn, this black pawn is here or not, if it makes the white pawn weaker or stronger. So without the black pawn, this pawn's even more of a weakness. With the black pawn, this pawn's still a weakness, but not as much. So it is important to know all the small 
whatever semantics well the whole concept of an isolated pawn is first of all because you have a the biggest amount of chess openings that exist probably with this such a open uh, opening structure you have millions of openings that deviate to the position and the whole plan is about for one of the sides is to attack the pawn on the open file which is not the case here. Black cannot attack d4 in the open file. The file is closed. So it's not... Got it. Like, if we were, like, being really willing to argue about details, we would say it is an isolated pawn, but it is not the isolated pawn with a with a cap, you know? Isolated as a, as a proper name. Okay. Sounds good. I got it. Good. Well, it is a weakness, though, and it is your plan. So F4 is your plan, just like minority attack. So now we got it. You know the plan. Okay. In okay. such positions, you play for the pawn structure. Well, here now, we finally, by the end of our lesson, we finally reached to the question itself. Now that we... Actually, we haven't yet. Okay, you figure out the plans. Who do you think is better here, white or black? White because of the bishop, and he has more space, even though they have the same pawn structure ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. So now that you spotted Black's biggest I weakness, like that noise made you <laughs> okay, like, didn't sound like you liked my answer, but okay. Yes, sorry, continue. I was simply surprised that you could give it right away. Okay, okay, we're good. So, now that you know what's Black's biggest weakness, you gotta sort that out. Yes. Okay, which is this square right here? Well, one no, 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 no. Okay. It's, Why it's, is white better? Once again. Oh, 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 the bishop. Good. So? This is the weakness. So we've got to trade the bishop. Good. How? Um, well, this guy can't come over here. We do have the center square. Maybe we could use our knight. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Or, or we could trade it, try to attack the knight, but he'll just move. But I like this move. I mean, I do like bishop g4, because I feel like if we play bishop g4, and he doesn't want to trade, he doesn't really have good squares. I mean, he could go back, but that looks like it would favor us. Hello? Yes. Uh... <laughs> okay. No, no. no. Hey, why is bishop g4 a bad move? Uh, why bishop g4 is a bad move it's not it's not a bad move but it's, it's not enough for the solution think deeper you spot it like to be honest you're thinking into a right direction but you need to dug or dig dig deeper okay so you spotted the weakness it's the bishop how would yeah. you get how would you sort this out okay let me put it differently what is white's strength biggest strength this diagonal yes so now you need to connect this two yeah which i mean my first idea is obviously if you could get your black your dark squared your light squared bishop on one of these squares to trade um but the only defended square is it's here this is not defended and that looks very difficult to defend which is why i gave up on this one so i feel like okay that was the right direction the just make it work Okay. Let's say you play bishop g4, they play knight d2. Okay. It's the right I'm direction. If we still want to couple it with this f5, f4 plan, you won't, maybe that's you won't be able to, unfortunately. Maybe you will, but this is not what I want you to, to find. Okay. I simply want you to neutralize your opponent's okay. strength I mean, okay. and get Obviously, rid of your weakness. You could always use the g6 square, but I just Felt like that was a bad square, but I think that's the only option. Yeah, and that's the solution. Uh -huh. It's interesting, because when I looked at this, I was like, yes, g6 is obvious, because it's the only square that will be defended, but I immediately dismissed it, because I was like, oh, I don't want to double my pawns, and I don't want to open this up. But now that I think about it, it's actually not bad. But I like thought of this first, and then immediately dismiss dismissed it, because I thought it looked bad. Well, the thing is... You can easily spot these things only when you study like how important it is like to like how actually your like how big of a weakness is your bishop on e6 and how big on yeah. the strength is the opponent's bishop. And also it's kind of like a typical maneuver 
um to to equalize let's say yeah so here yeah. like as i would say on my own streams the bishop a6 is in the toilet like stuck like the um uh, which reminds me can i go pee I've been sure. holding it in for a long time sure, now, and sure. I was waiting for I, you to get something right. You want? You were okay. just waiting for the context. Thanks. <laughs> Go for it. Jesus Christ, this student. Oh my lens. So you gotta go next break with Hammer, right? I asked Hammer if we could push an extra 30 minutes, because I felt like this was very helpful, and he said yes. So we have till 12.30 if that's okay with you. Oh, I like how you set your priorities here. No, no, no. I like both, but I feel like I this is going to take a little more than 10 minutes because I've been kind of slow. So ask for an extra 30. Well, don't worry. In any case, I have always extra for you. So um, okay. if we were following okay. the lesson that you would have to cancel on the hammer, which I do not want you to do. <laughs> uh... That help. <laughs> okay. I'm stuck in the middle of two coaches, and I don't know, and I and I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's just sum up this example. Okay. 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 So here, the solution for black is to get rid of a pawn. This is another way how I call this bishop. It's a pawn. It's just a big pawn. It's a big fat pawn that has never done any boxing in her entire life. Okay. Good. So you just need to transfer this pawn into g6 so that it becomes a bishop. Before you okay, well, I mean, we, we, yeah, we, we got that one figured out. Okay, good. That's the answer, just the bishop maneuver? Yeah, well, actually, we can okay. finish now. Okay. If oh, you wait, want to get... It? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that, that's it. That's all. That's all I wanted to, to learn from this example.